So in Against the Grain News, mm. submitted by Hello Barton. Hello. A very politically incorrect TV show is breaking audience records. What That's tight. Is what is the TV show? Correct. Who fucked TV your mom? <laughs> yeah. This TV show is called Taboo, and it's in Belgium. Broken, they have great waffles. It has broken TV <laughs> records. What their whole thing here is, they make fun of things you shouldn't be making fun of. That's like, tight. That is is it amazing. is it TV amazing. records like worldwide or is it in Belgium? In Belgium. So it's like a hundred thousand people. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's dope. That's my whole existence as a person, dude. Yeah, they make they tell jokes about paraplegics, amputees, and minorities. Tight. That's dope. Welcome to Just Kidding News. <laughs> yeah. No, we we we're pretty censored. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that I really want to say, I can't even say like half of it. And more and more over the years, huh? I think that's all comics, though. Like, you gotta, you can't say, you can't do the, you can't do the writer's room shit. Yeah, because even the stuff that I really want to say, I'll get mad at myself later. <laughs> like, literally after I say it, I'm like, why did you say that? Because <laughs> there's, there's writer's room talk, and then there's like, yeah. Even writers' rooms aren't that safe anymore, though. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. Comedy clubs aren't safe. Writers' rooms aren't safe. It's like it's so fucking dumb, dude. Yeah. I need a safe space for comics where we can say whatever the fuck we want. No. The lineup of the first victim slash guest <laughs> included obese and poor people, drawers, oh, terminal and mental illness, oh, gays, blind people, and people of color. <laughs> So they bring people on, they just start roasting the fuck no, out. No, no, no. So, oh my god, that would be a dope concept. It's done respectfully. So what they do is they. How get can you the respectfully do that? So they get the lineup of people, and then they spend a few days with them, getting to know them. Yeah. And then building they, ammunition. They are. They pretty much are. They're building ammunition, but the people involved in this, like, they're in the know too. Like, yeah. it's not like done behind their backs. And then a few months later, the comedian then invites them to a packed theater. Filled with people that are like them as well. What's going on? Uh, this is funny. I'm yeah. visual. It's already like the best show on earth. And then they they just watch just... him do like a politically incorrect comedy routine based on them. So for example, one of the jokes was, "quote There are a lot of advantages of having a child without arms." And then everyone's laughing. <laughs> it won't it won't pick its nose or put its elbow on the table. That's funny. Yeah. Things I like mean, that. It's kind of corny, but. Oh, uh, see, you know why this works. You get to know their world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between like like a Ching Chong joke yeah. and then understanding Asian culture making fun of certain things. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Yes, Russell Peters, he does the accent, he understands a lot of shit. Inside He's not Chinese, jokes. but he understands that that's why it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. That's awesome. So it's not like, look at the guy in a fucking wheelchair, he can't use his legs. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. It's not like one of those, you know? Yeah. It's it's something else. I fucking love that shit. That's great. That's awesome. dope. I would like that so show too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just talk shit, shit. Yeah. just just because? Yeah, I like both shows. Somebody just walks in and then you just start roasting them. Yup. <laughs> That's what I like too. <laughs> and the person doesn't know what they're walking into either. <laughs> That'll be tight! <laughs> they just they're in a in a tube, right? Yeah. <laughs> or they're like in a cage, and it's just just comics sitting around them, and they just get roasted in front of a whole audience. I have an idea. They should make a show that's like American Idol, except it's gonna be called Roast a Rokey. And so what happens is you have three comedians. So it's like karaoke, but it's roasting. So you have three comedians, right? They're standing right there. You don't know who the guest is. The minute the guest turns around and you see their face, they just gotta start going off and roasting the fuck <laughs> off. The of karaoke this part coming. Like you know when you're, you're you're singing the song like you don't really know or or maybe you do but you see like the words and like the blue thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that. So the person is the words. So roast yeah. roulette. Roast, roast roulette. roulette. Turn around and you just start roasting the fuck yeah. out. Oh, uh, let's make that show. That sounds fucking funny, dude. Yeah. And that'd be cool too. They can know. They'll give like the comic. You know, let's not even do that. It's not even that. They'll know the person. They'll give them a few things about their personal life and they could bring it up. Yeah. Mm. That should be fucking crazy. And it's gotta be something sad. Like some heartstring yeah. shit. Like this guy, he he's always uh, wanted to be a school teacher, but he's always been in like the special ed class. He couldn't be in one, uh, but now this is his chance to shine. So you turn that guy around, and now you have three comedians roasting. <laughs> oh him. shit, that's That'd dope. That'd be tight. Roast that's roulette. dope. Yo, dude. I love it. No, delete that shit out of this video right now. Somebody's gonna take that shit. <laughs> Yeah, so this show is just gained so much popularity, and they've even been approached to 
create this show in the U.S., like adapt it to the U.S., Britain, France, Netherlands, oh, please. Israel, Finland, Denmark. And you know what's so interesting? Like I, I realized about myself, like because like as you get older, usually what happens is you tend to mellow out. You don't give too many fucks about things, right? I can't really like roast people as well as I used to because I just don't care enough to. Don't have enough anger. Yeah, because you know like back in the day, it was like you and your homies, you guys are just roasting the fuck out of each other. That skill has died for me. I can't really do it that well. Because you got to be petty to roast. Yeah, yeah, you have to be petty. You have to yeah. nitpick on things and you have to not worry about their feelings at all whatsoever. Because now when I say things, I'm like, oh, why does so <laughs> so it's like You worry about their feelings and you, things don't bother you as much, so you yeah. can't roast. Yeah, so it's like, you're so oh, accepting, David. What yeah, the man. Fuck? Like, it kind of sucks because, like, my whole career was pissed. I'll be roasting the fuck out of people. And now, like, I'll write some stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's a little out of pocket. Man. Like, I was, <laughs> you need to say all that. Yeah, I was like, come on, man. Like, you ain't got to do all that. That was kind of mean. Yeah, I'm like, what happened? Well, if you got, let's say they invite, like, guest comedians and you guys get invited, you think you could go in? Well, I would have to warm myself up because when Tim was doing his roast, I got really happy. So that was exciting. And he actually gave me, like, a couple weeks to think of shit to write about. So, like, I... Oh, yeah, they get months. Like, a couple months. Oh, that's fine, man. Because I can, I can warm up. Yeah. I just got to hang out with a bunch of people that hate me and I can just go back and forth and it'll be good. But even with that, I was like, do I? Yeah, I left a lot of things on yeah. the table back there. Yeah, yeah cause you know especially yeah, especially since you know him, know him. But also like I don't know, you guys know the channel All Deaf Digital. Yeah, yeah. So they they do yeah. a lot of roast things. They had a show called Roast Me, which was kind of that somebody stands on a rotating thing. Oh. Yeah. But there was no like backstory. Yeah. Yeah. But they know the person, so they know. But it was mostly just on appearance and shit like that. Yeah, it's got to get personal, man. Well, they, yeah, they, they but talk it. about a traumatic childhood or something. Like, hashtag roast me. Like, they'll hold a photo. Yeah, and, like, yeah, that's the thing. No, that's not enough. See, like, if it's just appearance alone, yeah, it's got to, you know, when, like, when you, in American Idol, when they show the guy, like, the, the town that he grew up in, and it looks like the brothers <laughs> fucked the sisters, and it looks like they never watered their lawn. Like, if you gotta see that whole image, and you just give them like 30 seconds of material, then the comedians can go in on them like a motherfucker. Yeah, see, they had no backstory, but it was like, I'm gonna look at you and create a backstory. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you yeah, look yeah. like you, you know? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, so it was sort of like that, and then they have this other thing. Oh, it's the same title but they revamped it, so now they're all in the classroom, and then one gets up to the board, <laughs> you know. They, Cause we they need these type of shows too. We do, like, it's, it's we do. Like, even when I was like doing these videos towards the latter end, right? Cause I basically just roast the fuck out of somebody. But then it was like, my level of roasting was insensitive to people. They're like, whoa, you're, you're going too far. And I was like, wait, what's roasting to you guys then? Yeah. And so I looked at some new, like younger popular channels. They're not really saying anything. Yeah. They're just like, look how weird they are. You still they look so stupid, but I'll say like some personal shit. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going too far. I'm like, but that's what it was though. You had, roast means that somebody's lit on fire. You, you know, watch I mean? some Jeffrey Ross type shit. Yeah. The so shit like, he goes in on is crazy. Yeah, and then people are like, that's too far. Too far, what the fuck, what's going on with this world? That's the point of roasting though, yeah. is to go too far. The point of it is to like hurt their feelings because now like they're they're like they're not flirting like some of the oh. younger youtubers like their term of roasting is like you're irrelevant Okay <gasps> Oh, yeah, and then these kids are like oh my god. He roasted him so bad. I'm like how the fuck is that roasting dude? Yeah, I literally said that your cousins fucked each other. and That's why you're so fucking ugly you retard Yeah, and then <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> and they're like, ouch! And that's the start. That's the opening. And that's not the opening one. That's, yeah. a, that's an appetizer. That's a yeah. drop in the bucket. Yeah, I that's not that even that personal. Blame MTV. What happened? That show, Yo Mama. Oh yeah, it started all the week roast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Valderrama. Yeah. Valderrama. Yeah. Valderrama. Yeah. He's so funny on that '70s show, though. He's so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> They had it like a dance off too, where they had a crowd and then they would have a one on one. Dude, they had there was this one joke that, that got sad. me dying though. There was like this big ass kid, right? And he was like a black kid, but he was like super into goth. And this other kid was just roasting the fuck out of him. And it's like those don't even fucking like spike braces. Those are meat tenderizers, you fat fuck. I started <laughs> dying, dude. I was cracking the fuck up, dude. That shit was so funny. That's oh funny. man, they got him bad. <laughs> Called meat tenderizers. But roasting isn't. Also, just saying fuck you. No, or no, talking no, no. Shit. You gotta be creative and clever. Yeah. You gotta be creative. It's like a battle rap. Yeah. Yeah. Battle rappers are still like the OG roasters. Yeah. Dude. They, they're fucking good, man. Yeah. They just do it to a rhythm and a beep. They just do it to a rhythm and a beep. They just do it to a rhythm and a beep. I literally said that your cousins fuck each other, and that's why you're so fucking ugly, you retard. But this show is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is there is there footage? 
No. Oh, I want to see like some. I, I think I'm gonna watch it. I don't know if their humor is the same as ours. You I know? love like. It might be lost in translation too. Cause it's wait, you said they fill the theaters with people that are that are like. like so the, when they make fun of the blind guy. You have a theater full of blind people? That's exactly what I imagine. It's like They're a mix. Like listening yeah. to that shit? Because when I imagine like the fucking, <laughs> like a wheelchair guy, I saw the whole crowd of- When you're making fun of the guy. deaf people, well, it's I don't like know that, how that but works. But it's like a mix of all the victims. So it's like, oh, there's- Sign language. You know what it reminds me? Have you seen that Kim Peele sketch where there's a guy who's a burn victim? Mm -mm. And he was doing stand-up? Dude, that shit was so fucking- <laughs> So 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 Keegan Michael Key's doing stand-up, right? And he's like roasting people in the crowd. And all of a sudden the spotlight goes on this burn victim, right? And he and he passes him over and the guy goes, he has like that electronic voice, he goes, What about he goes, yeah. What about me? Yeah. Do me. Right. <laughs> and the guy he's like, uh, anybody? Anybody out there? Alright? <laughs> Make fun of the burns. <laughs> Oh, oh, and then he does make fun of him. Yeah, he goes. He goes. Well, I just didn't want to make a joke about this guy because I thought he was gonna come at me in my nightmares because he looked like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> everybody's like, boo! But he's like, no, he told me to. <laughs> he goes, like, you told me you could take it. He goes, I thought I could take it. <laughs> the tears they burn. Ah, that's like, genius. <laughs> Is he crying or is he laughing? I can't tell. He's just, ah. <laughs> That's fucking genius. Dude, that one, I mean, tears laughing, dude. That's a genius. You know what's funny about, um, like, this whole show? So they're like, people with disabilities, obesity, all that, and then people of color. <laughs> like minorities <laughs> are like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. well, there's gay <laughs> line. Like, damn, we're, we're on the on same the level of, like, fuck, we're not, so, we, we're just not regular human, you, you know. We're as good as a deaf person or yeah, as a like, blind person. Damn, that. we're a deformity, right? Like, fuck. We're this <laughs> My skin. Fuck. I mean, do you think yeah. it would be as funny if they just had normal white people there? Fuck yeah. This is they a no person. holds bar. If you're deaf, blind, or Asian, we make fun of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? But I mean, it's them being realistic because they do look at us <laughs> like, oh god, hilarious. And then this is also in Belgium. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure like minorities are really like minorities. Yeah, like who goes to Belgium? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> no one. I don't know anyone. Got to citizenship. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about waffles about Belgium. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait till they adapt this though to the U.S. I really want to watch it. I no, bet you the U.S. is gonna make it weak. No, we're not getting it. You, the TV here is so fucking weak. Man, no, there's, so there's no way we're getting it. Yeah.